We are here on behalf of you on the Green Lantern premiere carpet right here in Hollywood. It's going to be a lot of the blooper reels. You know, I, I was working on high wires the whole time, and, and there, were, there were a number of times I came off those wires and hit the ground hard. So that stuff, but thankfully I always got up and I was able to laugh a little bit, but there's going to be, there's going to be quite a bit of stuff on the, on, the, on the blooper reel, I'm sure. I grew up sort of in a, in a self-deprecating, funny home, and you know, you got to bring that and fuse everything you do with that, you know? I think it's important. If you take yourself too seriously, especially in a movie like this, which is really, I mean, designed for everybody, it's, uh, you know, it's not, it's, it's not going to be a good thing, but we, you know, we had, we had a lot of fun. It's on, a, on the largest scale we could possibly imagine, and we're all, we're all so excited. There were two rings used, and I gave both of them away. I gave one to a, a little kid in Comic-Con last July, and then I gave the other one to my nephew, Riley and he's, uh, he's wearing it tomorrow night at the midnight show. He's seven years old. He's way too young to be at a midnight show, but that's what he's wearing it to, and he's going to have a great time. These are my nephews, Bo, Jake, and Balin. And they're one of the main reasons that I did this movie. I just wanted to make them proud, so I hope that you guys are proud of me tonight. Well, it was actually really nice because women are very strong in real life, and they're never depicted as that. So it was nice to be able to, you know, rival and challenge Ryan, and he's so funny, he's so witty, so you couldn't look for a better partner to spar with than him. Well, it was a long time in the makeup chair, about four hours every day, but it was worth it because um, I really, I think the first thing that I noticed about him was his look, and I thought if I could make that real, then that was the thing that interested me the most. Well, the thing about him is he's so, he believes in the core so completely that that's the very thing that tips him over. They say power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely, and he is a classic example of that. He loves the core, and in his efforts to keep it as strong as he possibly can, he kind of has slipped over into being a kind of dictator. We tried larger heads, and, you know, we wanted something that seemed like somehow biological, somehow physical, somehow related to some nightmare you might have of what would happen in reality versus just having a really round, big head like he has in the, in the comic book. There was a lot that was just given to me by the circumstances of making this movie. It was over 100 degrees a lot of times. That thing doesn't breathe at all, zero. Um, and uh, it was intense, but I think it actually gave me a great performance. It helped me. Well, because he's so different, really, from the other superheroes. You know, he's, he goes to a planet, he goes into the middle of the universe. Um, and uh, none of the other superheroes do that. You know, it's an intergalactic police force, the Green Lanterns, which is, um, which is fascinating. And of course, there's the ring, the famous ring, there's the oath, there's creating the constructs, there's all that stuff. A lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of, you know, brilliant minds went in. When you see the credits, that means like we're going to run out of music before we run out of people who worked hard on this movie. Mm -hmm.